This woman right here, Queen Tahuti. Queen Tahuti from Ethiopia. They called her the Lion of the Ophelia, and she was a warrior princess. Queen Tahuti Batul married to King Melanin and was crowned Queen of Shewa in 1883. Born in Gondo, a princely family of the Aramo descent, she had already been married several times before the age of 30, but had no children. And during the ups and downs of the political fortunes which befell her previous husbands, she was already experienced in the workings of the Ethiopian power structure before she became Melanie's wife. In 1889, two days after Melanie's coronation as emperor, Tehuti was crowned empress. Thereafter, her official title became Might of Ethiopia, and these words appeared on her seal. Tehuti acquired the compliments that fitted her rank. She was more educated. She was added at the Ethiopian chess, a form of the game closely related to the East and medieval things. It was Tehuti who encouraged the emperor to move the capital from the stone swept heights of Intanto to the lower altitude and more pleasant climbing around the house kings of Finfine. A strong minded woman, Tehuti remained in close advice to her husband throughout his reign. She provided a counterbalance to Melanin, who she considered was too trusting to various farmers, intriguing at his court, and too eager to accept the innovation that they were to introduce. In 1890, in the era of colonial expansion, there was a dispute between Italy and Ethiopia over the Treaty of Wipa and between the two countries. On the basis of the Italian text, Italy claimed to have established a protectorate over all Ethiopia. Melanie refused to accept this claim. Basically, they said, Italy said they were going to jack Ethiopia and just take, take their land. They were saying that they have to come take Ethiopia because to Italy, they will be um, maintaining dignity and saying that, um, you know, we, we took a, we conquered a piece of Africa. Because every at the time, everybody was coming to conquer a piece of Africa. So what happened was, at this point, Tahuti interviewed saying, the woman, this woman here, and this time was the time when women were supposed to speak out when men were talking. So at this time, Tahuti said, intervened saying, we also have our things to preserve. You wish Ethiopia to be represented by other powers as your protectorate, but this shall never be. In 1896, it became clear the Italians could no longer be kept at bay. Melanie decided to confront Tahuti and was vindicated in hostility to the foreign powers. She took part in the war of 1895-96 against the Italians and brought 3,000 of her own troops to Adwa to join the, those of leaders from various parts of the empire. So she came with her own team. She came with her own group to, um, to come fight the Italians. So he goes, the woman, you know what I'm saying, who already was a queen, she wasn't sitting back in the, in the cut. She was back out there with, with her crew, and they, was, and they was gunning at the Italians. Now the thing about it is, it's been quoted by J.A. Rogers that when she, when she was fighting, fighting with the Italians, that her fight, she was fighting so valiantly that they made the men fight harder. When they saw how hard she was fighting, she was a woman, they made them fight harder. So what happens is it's so hard that they want you just to believe that a woman just to be cute and to be this, that, and the other, you know what I'm saying, just a little side thing on the side, and not the fact that she's actually something valuable and actually something very important to, to the survival of our people. You understand know what I'm saying? So, so, this, so this is done purposely, and we gotta understand this, and we gotta respect our women. We gotta respect our women for, for their accomplishments, for their accomplishments, and what they have done in our community, and what they have done in history to, 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 to edify our people.